back to my channel. So if you guys couldn't tell by the title, the thumbnail, or this amazing headpiece my mommy-in-law made me, we are going to be reviewing the brand new KKW Mauve Collection. I flipped when I saw Kim Kardashian's first Instagram post about this and immediately texted my mother-in-law and was like, hey, can you hook it up with this? And she was like, hey, I got you. Ordered this stuff on launch day, couldn't wait to get it, couldn't wait to play with it. I'm so excited guys. If you guys want to see how I got these lips, these cheeks, these eyes, I unfortunately have no idea how to make a floral headpiece, but I did get this halter top off Amazon and it's super cute. It makes me feel like I have boobs when we all know that's just not the situation, you know? But it's fine, we got a dope personality and that's basically the same thing. I also have a surprise for you at the end of the video, which I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to miss out on. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I feel about this collection, how I got this makeup look, what my overall thoughts are on this KKW launch, please go ahead and continue watching the video. And for those of you guys asking, no, I'm never taking this off. Is it just going to be like KK beauty from now on? You know what? That's none of my bee pollen. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? Looking cute, looking dapper, probably showered, even if you didn't. We're cool. I'm so excited. I have the brand new KKW Mauve collection that we're gonna do. When I tell you, like, I'm so hyped. I got the entire collection. I got the palette. I got the blushes. We got all sorts of lippies. First of all, look at this packaging. By golly, butter my tit. I'll tell you right now, the only thing we're divorcing is this homeless look. She's tired. All right, so we are for sure gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the KKW Mauve palette. This is what the packaging looks like. I know I say this every single launch, but you guys, I love KKW's packaging. I love the simplicity, love the color, love the aesthetic, love everything about it. Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> she's divorcing the man, but she's not divorcing the game. Let's clear that up right now. Miss Kim about a bad Kardashian isn't about to abandon her clica, okay? I guess this is the sequel to her matte collection last year, which was like the matte smoky and then the matte browns, which I loved by the way. You were here for that, I think. So we're just gonna go ahead and start off with Dew Drop as our transition shade, blend this out into our crease, and then we're just gonna build, build, build. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mix it with Hazy Lavender just to start giving us that mauve purple look. And to keep on building that intensity and that mauve aesthetic on the eye, we're gonna go into Hyacinth and really focus this on the crease while still blending it out with that first shade. And of course, we're using our beloved Scott Barnes 6-2 brush to perfect this look with. Now we're gonna go into Radiant Orchid, which is this gorgeous dark purple. And we're gonna grab this with a very thin, precise brush and really focus this slightly above our crease because we want our cut crease to come above where our eye naturally folds just so it can be more visible and more defined. Now I know this look is already looking like super intense, but we're about to intensify it just a little bit more because again, we want this cut crease to really be defined and to really just go there. So while I am gonna clean it up with a super clean blending brush because I don't really want any harsh lines, I am very quickly after gonna go into boysenberry and deepen up this look even more so because again, I just want it to be oof in your face. Now the fun part, and we're gonna go ahead and go into our concealer and really cut the crease. Don't be afraid if you're looking at a little raccoon eyes, guys. It's totally normal. These types of looks, they definitely look bad and then they look worse before they look amazing. So be patient, trust the process. Just know that it's gonna work out, okay? The universe has got you just like a push-up bra. Don't be afraid to take breaks. Don't be afraid to take a few deep breaths. Maybe a couple Padre Nuestros. Maybe ask the Lord for forgiveness of all your mistakes and lies and sins that you've done. Cause this takes work, it takes patience. But like I said, once you get this down and once you like practice and all that good stuff, and once you realize like, yo, it's just makeup at the end of the day, you'll be fine. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab a blushed jasmine, which is this blushed light pink. It even matches my nails. And this is gonna be our all over lid shade. So we're just gonna work that up in there. Now again, it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look super cleaned up, but that's why you're just gonna go ahead and go back into your other pigments, small little brushes. Again, you can precisely fix any color you can apply more of the cream shade, you can apply more purple, you can clean it up some more with the concealer. This is where your finesse really comes into play. I want this look to be a little bit smoky, so I'm gonna kind of soften up the edges and really kind of make it a little blurry. But again, guys, this is completely up to you. I'm honestly just trying to play with as many of these shadows as I possibly can because my job here is to review them for you. And so far, guys, like they're good. Like they're, they're good. Boop. 
What I'm going to go ahead and do now is quickly put on some eyeliner, some mascara, some lashes, finish off the face really quick, and then come back so we can play with all of these goodies. Let's go ahead and finish off these eyes. I'm basically just going to use the same exact shades I used up top, just in a different kind of manner. Like, I'm not going to do a cut crease down here. That'd be wild. I mean, that'd be cool. I should try it at some point. Clickbait. But, like, just not right now. I really like this eye look. And now we are here, and we can go ahead and move on to the blushes. <laughs> which I'm so excited about the blushes. I'm such a blush slore. I love blushes. The fact that she came out with two. Yo, Kim, just serenade me to sleep. Like I said, I got the whole collection just because I wanted to really review everything for you guys. I already went ahead and did my bronzer and the rest of my makeup. So all we really got to do is apply these blushes. Packaging is adorable. We love. I got both. I got the shade Fuzzy Pink and Rose Quartz. Which, honestly, guys, I might just do a mixture of both because i ugh, actually no i've decided we're doing fuzzy pink this one is just a little bit lighter and i don't want this look to be too dark because the eyes are just so dramatic so i'm going to go in with the most muted one and we're just going to see how it goes kkw blushes are so gorgeous guys she really nailed down the perfect powder formula and honestly like i know i say this again in almost every kkw video but her tones are so spot on by the way i'm using the laura mercier blush brush this is probably my favorite new brush for blushes it just angles it to your face so perfectly and almost gives you like a facelift which is perfect for me because you guys know how i love to drape my blushes by the way i'm trying to get better at telling you guys what brushes i'm using because i know one of my biggest comments is brushes let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do like a dedicated video to just explaining brushes i'll make sure to talk about different price points and stuff guys just because i know that not everybody has the same budget but i definitely have like a variety and i for sure have my favorites Ooh, i'm like so obsessed and you guys don't even know you guys don't even know what i have in store for you i mean you might because you saw the beginning of the video but anyways for lips like i said i got all three options i got all three lip liners and the three lipsticks there's mob one mob two mob three Same with the lip liners. I got Mauve 1, Mauve 2, Mauve 3, which it's definitely looking like it's gonna be Mauve 1 lip liner with Mauve 1 lipstick. our makeup look is complete you guys i know i didn't have to do all of this but i went ahead and did it anyway okay because i just really i wanted to recreate so much her entire aesthetic for this campaign for this launch i am such a big fan of like floral headpieces it's very midsummer which is not really the movie you want to think about like when you're thinking about like like makeup but it's a really good movie you guys should check it out I think it's gonna come to no surprise to you guys when I tell you like I'm so about it. I love it, I approve. Like I said, I think every KKW launch is coming with so many more improvements, especially when it comes to her eyeshadow formula. I really have to speak on this because it's so hard to make purples. I feel like I've said that before, but purples are one battle. Pastel purples are a whole nother other hurdle. And when I tell you she nailed it with this palette, like completely killed it, blew it out of the water, blew my tetas off, like, I mean, she killed it. She did so good. I love this palette. I could see myself using this palette for so many everyday looks, dramatic looks, full glamour looks. I'm not really somebody who's into shimmer anyway. So anything that is fully matte is just so pleasing to me and something I will always gravitate to the most. The only thing that's kind of bothering me is the fact that I don't have a lip gloss on because I love lip glosses. By the way, the lipsticks are awesome, guys. I love KKW lipsticks. I am using, like I said, Mauve 1, which is a gorgeous, dusty nude. Lip liners are on point. Everything in this collection was so on point. I very quickly want to say, yo, this video is not sponsored. I bought this collection with my own money. Another thing I bought was an extra one of the palettes. So you guys know what that means? 
giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away one full KKW palette. Obviously not this one, I touched this one. Yours is in a box. I don't wanna put my little phalanges on it too much. I don't really like to touch and put my germs on the stuff I'm gonna give out anyway. You will not only be receiving this palette, you're gonna be receiving some other little goodies that I have, maybe a t-shirt, I don't know. All you gotta do is like this video, share this video, and honestly, you can comment whatever. Go off, sis. As long as it's positive, as long as it's kind, as long as it's supportive, go off with your Twitter fingers, ma. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I wanna thank my mother-in-law for making me this incredible headpiece. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will have the KKW website linked down below. I will have my Amazon page where you can find this shirt down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting, and I will see you in my next one.